Yeah. All right, we're back with more of day three. And I believe the next witness is the redheaded chick. Right, we are back on the record. The attorneys are present. Mr. Mew is present. The jury is present. Let's continue. Um, is Ms. Madison in the courtroom? Okay. Uh, please come forward. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your first and last name and spell both? Riley Madison, R-Y-H-L-E-Y-M-A-T-T-I-S-O-N. And Riley, how old are you? I am 25. Wow, she's actually the oldest one yet. She's older than all the dude bros and the scumbags. Does that mean that she was on the river that day looking for little boys? Do you think she owns a snorkel? Something to think about. And how tall are you? 5'5". Five, five. And how much do you weigh? About 110 pounds. And were you about the same in July of 2022? Maybe 115. <clears throat> were you tubing on the river that day with friends? I was. And were you drinking alcohol? I was. Using any other substances? I was smoking marijuana. And do you believe you're intoxicated? <clears throat> I do, yes. Was that your first time tubing on the river? Um, I've been on the river before, but I've started at different points with friends, so I've never really been on that part of the river. Okay. What do you, do you remember at some point um, along the river that something catching your group's attention? Not specifically mine. I was just kind of hanging out with my friends on the tube, and we had stopped, um, and so I kind of asked why we were stopping, um, and I heard somebody mention something about a group looking uncomfortable. Um, I hadn't got off right away, so. Did you walk over after some other folks? I did. Um, I kind of was like, what's going on? And then I had told Janelle, like, let's kind of go over there and see what's going on. What do you, do you remember everything sequentially perfectly or is it choppy? It's very choppy for me. Okay. Oh, what a surprise. Another witness with selective memory. So what do you remember next? Um, I remember getting off the tube, walking up to Mr. Mayu, um, and I just remember Maddie being there and yelling at him. Um, I remember her being punched in the face, and then I remember being stabbed, and that is completely it. Did you see or don't you remember anyone else stabbed? No. Then do you know if it's because you don't remember or you didn't see or? I just, I think I was just focused on myself, doing what I was doing. I was not really paying attention to anybody else at all. When you saw Madison get punched, can you explain that in as much details as you remember? Um, I, I barely really remember that part. I just remember him staring at us and then not saying anything and punching her. And I was just like shocked, like, oh, oh my God. Um, and that I don't, right after that, I, I literally remember being stabbed and that's it, so. With him punching her, do you remember any more details than that? Like what hand he used no, or how the punch all. was? Not at all. And what else do you remember about you getting stabbed? Um, I just remember seeing Nick's face very blank and not lunging at me, but just kind of poking me and I held my side and I was like, ow, like Janelle, I think he punched me. Um, that really hurt, like, and I looked down and I was bleeding out and holding my stomach and it just like, didn't feel real. Like it was just a lot of shock and from there I was walking around the river asking for help, like just asking somebody to help me. Um, I told Q that I felt like I was dying because I just was losing, like I was losing so much blood and every time I'd walk I just felt like I was getting weaker and weaker. Um, so another group down the river had put me on a tube and kind of pushed me down to kind of get away, away from the scene. And then um, they were holding my side and just kind of keeping me awake. And then when the cops had showed up, they took me off of the tube and put me on the ground. Um, and I just remember like Janelle coming over, you know, asking me to stay awake and the cops trying to ask me what my name was. Um, and then just being put in the ambulance and going to the hospital. And when you, when you touched your side, do you remember feeling anything? Um, no, I just was, I thought I was punched or something. I didn't really know. I wasn't 
really paying attention and it, it really didn't hurt. Um, but when I looked down, I was instantly like, I believe I was holding my stomach. I think Janelle was coming to help me to hold my stomach and hold my side. Um, and then just blood kind of going. And I didn't, I didn't want to look down because it freaked me out. And I didn't really want to touch it either because I, didn't, I just didn't want to feel anything. So I kind of just barely held my hand on it. I just didn't want to feel it. Do you remember telling law enforcement that you felt like something was coming out of the wound when you touched it? I don't remember that. So as, after you were brought on the tube to shore, you said people were telling you to stay awake. Did yeah, you... like just asking me, my, kind of asking questions and like my name, like who are you, just kind of what's going on, anything that would make me stay awake. Um, and I just remember being super tired and I'm like, I just want to be left alone. Did you have trouble breathing at all? Um, not right away, uh, slowly but surely I did. And then once I get, got in the ambulance and actually got to the hospital, I like felt like I couldn't breathe at all. Um, but it, was, it took a little time before that to actually like, happen for me. I don't know if I didn't realize it right away, but. And where, where were you brought, if you remember, when you were brought to shore? Were you brought to the grass, the pavement? I was laid right on the blacktop. Because I remember saying, oh my God, like this burns my back. Um, I believe, I just, I remember the bridge, so I know it was right before like the bridge, but I don't ex like know exactly where, but I know it was up right on the asphalt, I believe on the road that like the cops would drive on and the ambulance and everything. And were there officers or an officer there with you? Um, I believe I had one officer um, holding, helping me kind of put pressure on my side and talking to me, yes. Anyone that's been marked as exhibit 68. Um, is that is that a photo or is that an image of you on the blacktop? Yeah. You can take it down. At some point were you transported away from the scene? Yes. Do you remember how? An ambulance. Were you brought to a hospital? Yes. And did you go immediately into surgery? I believe so, yes. Um, I just remember the ambulance telling me there's going to be a lot of people asking me questions. Um, and I just remember being put on a bed. And that's literally all I remember. I mean, them asking me kind of, you know, who you are, what's your name, what's your birthday, and I wouldn't answer. And I just kept saying I couldn't breathe. And that was the last thing I remember. Until after surgery? Yeah, I barely even remember waking up from surgery. And if you, what's been marked as Exhibit 33, what's that? That is um, the incision where the doctors had to cut me up to put my stomach back in. I'd move to admit and publish. Do we approach? Yes. Mm. Judge, we have no objection to the uh, introduction of evidence of Exhibit 33 and Exhibit 79, and no objection to publication. All right, so 33 is received and may be published, and 79 is in your hand? Yes. All right, 79 is received. And Riley, what are we seeing in this photo? Um, that is, the bigger one is the stab wound, um, and the little one is from a chest tube. And how about in this one? Um, this is the one where they had to cut me open to get my stomach put back in. And so, like, here where the mouse is, that's from surgery? That's all from surgery and then the staples. And then on over here? Yep. What's that? The incision wound. This, this stitch is right here. Is that the stab wound? Yep, that's the stab wound. The one we looked at? Prior, yep. OK. Are you in the photo? Are you taking this in a mirror? Yes. So the, which side is the wound actually on? On my left side. So it's reversed in this photo? Yes. I think you testified that you remember him looking at you and then reaching over. Do you, do you recall telling law enforcement you don't remember if you hit him or said something to make him angry? I do remember saying that. Um, I think I was trying to maybe find a reason why he did what he did to me. Um, or, you know, after he had hit Maddie, if I had maybe put my hands on him because he had hit Maddie. I think I was just finding a reason. Do you, from what you remember of being stabbed, 
Do you have any memory of actually hitting him or saying anything? I don't remember saying anything, hitting him, touching him, nothing. Oh, well, of course not. Almost no one from your group has any memory of doing that. Even Butterscotch Schnapps isn't 100% sure what he did to Mew. And he's on camera doing it. Riley, are you in that photo or that image? Yes. Okay. Is that your arm there? Yes. And actually, th your arm again? Yes. Stopping on 2470. Uh, what are you doing in this image? Um, I'm not sure if I'm just touching his shoulder or if I'm going to push him. 2492, have you removed your hand at this point? Yes. Did you see a push? I mean, kind of like a little, I guess I don't know what to call it, but just kind of maybe brushing his shoulder. Um, I guess a push, yes. Do you want to see it again? Objection. Cumulative. Sustained. 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 <laughs> Did you see the knife in his hands when you're standing there? I don't remember. Is that your... Do you know if that's your hand or Maddie's no, hand? No, that is Maddie's hand. Okay. How do you tell the nail polish? Yeah, I don't wear nail polish. And do you see yourself in that image, 2662? I do. To the left of Dante? I do. To the right of Maddie? Yes. Riley, do you see yourself in this image? I do. <clears throat> Where are you? I am standing right behind Nick Miu. What uh, color swimsuit? Uh, blue with flowers. I'm gonna scroll. Uh, stopping on 2948, do you see yourself in this image? I do. Holding your side? I do. Let me keep scrolling. And I, you said one of your friends came to your aid after you were stabbed? Uh, yes, Janelle. Is she in this photo? She is. She is in the black swimming suit. Okay, I'm going to keep scrolling. Do you remember retreating or recoiling from Nikolai at that point or no? What do you mean by that? And these, I'll back up a little bit. Okay. So I'm on 3017. Like running away? Yes. Yes. Do you remember Nikolai saying anything at all when you were standing in front of him? Not one word. 
did you have any indication or did you see anything, hear anything to indicate if he was with a group? I had no idea who he was. I didn't know if he was a part of the group we were going to. I had absolutely no idea. Yep, didn't know the guy from Adam, had no idea what he was up to, had no idea what was going on, but I felt it was well within my right to get involved anyway. I don't have anything else. Mr. Nelson? Yes, thank you, Judge. I want to ask you some questions about your intoxication and your memory, okay? Okay. You've, you've made lots of statements in this case, is that fair to say? Yes. You spoke to the police a couple of times, correct? Yes. You have spoke to... Uh, care 11 news correct yes you spoke with fox 9 news correct yes and one of the things i think you've consistently said in all of those statements to the police to the news is you're basically like i was drinking a lot i don't remember much correct. fair to say correct and the reason that you consistently said that is because that's the truth correct correct you were drinking a lot right correct you were intoxicated correct, correct. uh you're also smoking the marijuana correct? correct and that i'm sure impacted your ability to perceive things as well as remember things agreed agreed and i think what you've used different words to say like things are blurry correct yeah i think i just have kind of like a specific patchy spot that i've been trying to figure out what's what happened in that little spot sure but the words that you used i think you used on direct like you see chunks almost right right and then also what I'm gathering is the chunks that you do see, those are blurry. Yeah. And then in between the blurry chunks, there's just blank spaces. Correct. Okay. And you don't know whether those blank spaces in your memory are because of intoxication, correct? Correct. Or perhaps because of, uh, imagine that was a stressful event for you. Yes. Even before you were uh, cut with a knife, you, uh, you lack some memory before that, correct? Yes. And I would imagine some of that before that was a little bit stressful, correct? Yes. Obviously, the stress increased once you were injured, right? Yes. But nevertheless, the stress that you were under may have caused you to not remember certain things, correct? Correct. Um, you've probably talked with lots of, lots of your friends about this event, correct? We've talked, yes. Yeah. This was, and then again, I'm not trying to judge. Just in fairness, this is a life-changing event for you, right? Correct. And for your group of friends, correct? Correct. Imagine when you get together, you chat about it. Yes. Right? People share their experience, correct? Correct. And maybe you help each other process what the experience was, correct? I wouldn't say necessarily process it, just kind of, I mean, in the beginning it was more of like, this is what I remember, like, you know, how? what do you remember? I wouldn't say we were trying to give each other answers. but. But you had gaps in your memory, correct? Yes. And again, you don't get into specifics, but other people, when you were talking to that, that were there, they had gaps in their memory. Yes. And so sometimes you would share information with each other to try and maybe fill in the gaps, correct? Sometimes, yes, but I never really took what they said and put it together. I just remembered what I remembered in. And I appreciate that. You've been very clear about that. But I just want to make sure that we know that you've, you've got other information, right? Yes. And part of that is because is you want to know what happened, correct? Correct. And there's still some things, as you sit here today, that you don't know, correct? Yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah. All right. Um, and just the human condition, at least for you, is you mm -hmm. want to try to make sense of it, correct? Yes. And sometimes you, I would imagine, like the rest of us, you use deduction to try to put things together, correct? Yes. Even if you don't necessarily have a memory, you try to deduce what it is that happened, right? Yes. And so here in court, when we were talking, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try to focus on the memory. Does that make okay. sense? Okay. Um, Cause some of the things you might have said or you might talk about are from things that you've kind of, you think because you've deduced it. Would that be fair? Um. I guess. Sure. Well, let's talk about this. Like one of the, the one of the issues in the case is um, what happened to Matt, right? Yes. And one of the first things that you told the police is you said, "quote I thought he slapped her because, like I said, it was just kind of not comprehending." You said that to the police, correct? I don't remember, but if I did, yes. And since then, you've said. She was punched, correct? That is correct. 
And today when you were asked, tell us the details of that, you were like, I just want to make sure I get it correctly. I think you said, no, not at all. I don't remember the details. I don't. And you've been very honest about that. We appreciate that. What I'm trying to make sure is that when you say you don't remember the details, like you don't have a picture in your head about Maddie getting punched, correct? I shouldn't have said punched because I don't remember if it was a punch or a slap, but I do remember her being hit in the face. Okay, so Mr. Muse had some sort of contact with his hand to her face, correct? correct? You don't remember which hand it was? I do not. You don't remember the context under which it was, correct? I do not. You don't remember if it was in response to something that she had done, correct? Correct. Um, and right now, as you say that, you don't have an image, a picture in your mind about what it is that happened, correct? Correct. Fair to say, and again, that what you're telling us is you kind of deduced that something happened to Maddie based upon all of the other circumstances, correct? I know I saw Maddie get hit. Okay. And when you say you know you saw Maddie get hit, you can't put a picture in your mind that you can tell us, though. I cannot. I just know even waking up from surgery, like my story was, I remember that. Sure. And your original story was, at first I thought he slapped her. Like Correct. I said, I don't know if it was a slap or a punch. So. Okay, just some sort of contact. Correct. So I want to walk through some of the things before that, and I know you may or may not have a memory, so we've got the video, right? Yes. And you've been shown that video before? Yes? Sorry. And you've been... Uh, shown some of the slides before? Yes. And by slides, I mean we broke the video up into different frames. I call them slides. Does that make sense? Yes. I just kind of really saw the video. Um, I haven't really seen a whole lot of the slides other than yesterday when I was here. Okay. Yesterday somebody showed you some slides? No. Up, like up on the screen oh. when you guys were doing them. As a, uh, you were just here watching the trial? Correct. Which you have a right to do. Um, and that's when the first time you saw the slides come through, yes. correct? But before that, you haven't been shown the slides. No, just the, like just the video, basically okay. the part of myself. And you, just to kind of, I want to get us into the space that we, I think is the important space when you're right in front of him. Okay. And so if I get there too quickly, tell us. But okay. you, Maddie and Dante are there first, correct? When um, I say there, there's a, let me back up. There's a group of yeah. six teenage males, correct? Yes. And then there's Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. And then there's you, got, you're in a group which we'll call the Carlson Cone group, is that fair? Okay. And there's about 11 people in that group, correct? Correct. Of your group, the first two people that leave your group to join the other group are Madison Cohen and Dante Carlson, right? Correct. At some point you go over and join Madison and Dante, correct? Correct. Prior to that, do you have a memory of what you observed? I did not observe anything. I remember coming down the river and our, our tubes being stopped. Um, and like I said, I, I just asked what was kind of going on, why we're being stopped. We literally just got back on our tubes. Why, why are we stopping again? Um, and I heard, I don't know who, but somebody say a group looks uncomfortable. Okay. I did not hear anything coming from the back of us from the group. I didn't even see the group. I was not even paying attention to them. I was just hanging out with my friends. Um, and I, you didn't hear anybody call for help, correct? I did not hear anything. And I think what you told the police in one of your interviews is you even questioned some of your friends like, why are we intervening? Yeah, well, I kind of asked Janelle, like, what's going on? Why? What are they doing? And what? then I was like, let's just get up and kind of go see. Okay. So at some point, you and Janelle and Gabby, you're the next three people that join Madison and Dante. Is that right? I'm not sure if Gabby came with us, but Janelle and I for sure did. Okay. And do you remember there was a time when you were walking over there? Do you remember Nick Mew standing up and looking upriver and waving his hand? I do not. And do you remember then that as soon as that got done happening, Madison Cohn turned to you and Janelle and she waved her arm to have you guys come over? I don't remember that, but maybe that is why we got up. Does that make sense to you why you went there? Is because Madison's I mean, like, yes, come yes. on over here, right? Yeah. And then you went over, correct? <laughs> yes. And then there were times that we've seen in the video where you're standing in front of Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. Prior to your getting there, would it be fair to say that 
Madison Cohn was yelling at Mr. Mew? I mean, I didn't hear, like I said, I didn't hear anything. I had no idea of the scene. Did you see her standing in his space? No. Okay. Until I got over there, yes. Once you got over there, you then saw her standing in his space? Yes. And you then saw her, and probably heard her, yelling at him, correct? Yeah, I didn't, I can't really, like I said, I don't make out what she said specifically, but yes. So you don't know the content, but you know the volume was high? Yes. Um, and would it be fair to say that she was in his face? Yes. And at some point, as we saw in there, you went up and stood next to Madison, essentially right in front of Mr. Mew as well, correct? Correct. And Dante was, if you're, if you're here, Madison's next to you, Dante's over in this area, fair to say? I did not remember Dante being even around us. Okay. I just remember it being Maddie and I and then Janelle. Okay. And you remember, as we saw on the screen, that when you're standing there, essentially you, you weren't asking questions, right? I don't think I asked questions. I, yeah. I might have yelled, you know, the same things they were yelling, but I sure. don't remember. And so while you went over there with the intent to figure out what was going on, as soon as you got there and you saw Maddie doing something, you basically joined her, right? I think that's exactly what I did, yes. Yeah. You just, whatever my friend is doing, I'm going to join her and do the same thing, correct? Not just Maddie, but everybody else kind of yelling. I think yeah. maybe I was listening to everybody else yelling, and I just kind of... Joined the crowd. Joined the crowd, yeah. Yep. Um, that's sometimes what happens in a crowd. Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Um, and when you joined the crowd in that situation we saw on there, that's when you reached out and started putting your hands on Mr. Mew, correct? I don't remember putting my hands on him, but in the video, yes. You saw yourself, and as you described it, you kind of kind of pushed him, as I think the words that you used, right? Yeah, I mean, I can't really tell. I just see my hand, you know, on his shoulder, and I don't really see him fall back or anything, yeah. but... But it, it, it moves his person, not his feet. Right. Right? And then, uh, I don't know if you... Do you remember then standing next to you as you're doing that with the left hand, Madison Cohen is putting her right hand on his left shoulder Correct. and pushing him back as well. Correct. Correct. And that, I think on the still frames, it's hard to know, but that's at around the 144 second mark. Does that make sense? Yes. And it's at about 145 where we see the picture of Mr. Mew standing there with uh, the knife in his hand in front of him, correct? Yes. So he's not hiding it, agreed? Agreed. You, for whatever reason, didn't see it, correct? Correct. Yeah. Um, and it's while he's standing there holding the knife, with, that's the time that you're pushing him on the one side, and then just after that, Madison Cohen's pushing him on the other side, correct? I believe so. And it's uh, right around there, too, in the middle of that, where he raises his left hand, and calls back to his upriver to other people, correct? I, I mean, in the video, yes, but I don't remember okay. that. In that moment... I'm just going to jump down the line of question. I think the video speaks for itself. He's entitled to ask questions. <clears throat> Overruled. In that moment, did you understand that the man that you're standing in front of, who's looking past you, is waving to people behind you? I did not. Okay. Did you ever think, hey, maybe I should just... Let him go in that direction? I mean, I'm 110 pounds. I feel like he could have walked right past me. Oh, yeah, sure. He could have just bumped his shoulder into you and pushed you out of the way. That wouldn't have caused any retaliation at all, huh? He could have, um, right? Um, you don't know who was to your left, correct? Correct. <clears throat> There's a group of six teenagers there. Correct. And those six teenagers are screaming, predator, 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 correct? I didn't hear that, but in the video, yes. And to your right is Madison Cohen. Correct. And somewhere around in that area is Dante Carlson. Correct. Anthony Carlson. Correct. AJ Martin, correct? Correct. So it wasn't just you, 110 pound. No, but at that moment it was Maddie and I, so I just mean he could have walked around, but. At least that's what's captured on the camera, right. correct? You said you were here in court yesterday? I was. Did you see exhibit number 105 when we talked about that? I believe so. There's been a lot, so sure. yes. Um, and you, can, you can't see on here, but um, this is uh, from frame 2592 at a minute 49. Does that make sense? Yes. I'm sorry, is this 105 or 104? This is 104, Judge. Thank okay. you. I apologize. Okay. And you see the uh, 
red jace, the red circle with JC in it with an arrow around it, correct? I do. That appears to be about the camera angle, correct? Yes. So again, there may have been other people not photoed, not in the photo, but there'd be around that area, correct? Correct. You have every, you have no reason to disagree with the positioning of people in this at that time, correct? Correct. Okay. So after the, he gestures to other people, you guys continue to stand in front of him, correct? I believe so. And this is where, again, something happens and you don't have a memory of it, or you're like, he had contact with her face in some way, right? Correct. Right. And you don't necessarily know the context of that, right? Correct. Um, the person, uh, is that you in the bikini bottom with the tattoo on your right leg? Correct. And then uh, we can see a bit of blonde hair and an elbow here. Is that Madison Cohen? I think so, yes. Okay. And as I scrolled through, that shows then Madison Cohen, correct? Correct. And then I'm going to scroll forward to 2650. Five, do you see that? Yes. At least is 2655. I'm going to move one more, I believe. Is this your elbow underneath Maddie's uh, left hand, yes. which is holding the can? Uh, yes, I believe so. That's your elbow? Yeah. So in this moment in time at 2656, we'd have to watch the video, uh, between, you're in between Mr. Mew and Madison Cohn. Agreed? Right here, yes. And so is Dante Carlson. He's in between Madison Cohen and Mr. Mio, correct? Correct. All right. And you don't have a memory of exactly where people were or what happened just before this other than Mr. Mew's hand went to her face in some manner, correct? Correct. The photos that we saw before, you were essentially leaning in towards Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. That's your... Um, leg with a bikini bottom behind Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. So in between the photo that we saw and this photo, you don't remember what you were doing, correct? I have no idea, no. Correct. There's nothing to indicate that you were tending to your friend Maddie Carlson, correct? Correct. Because as we saw in the photo before this, you weren't actually going to your friend, you were going to Mr. Mew, correct? In the photo, it looks like that, yes. So whatever happened to your friend, it wasn't something that caused you to say, I better take care of her. I think I just was shocked that he had hit her, so I just, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I reacted. I don't really know what I said. I don't know. Whatever it was, you didn't focus your attention on your friend, correct? I did not. Obviously, this is somebody that you care for, right? Yes. You worry about her, right? Yes. And if you were worried for her safety, you might have had an instinct to turn to her right away, correct? Correct, and I, and I don't know if I did say something right away and then just... All we know is what's in the photo, and that is you don't turn your attention to her, you're focusing your attention on Mr. Mew, correct? correct? Um, so now in 2857, um, you're behind Mr. Mew, correct? Your back is to him? Yes. And his back is to you, correct? correct. All right. So you've, you came out of the last frame that you're in is 2866. Is it, do you agree? Yes. So I'm going to go back to 2858. As we scroll through, does it appear as if you are turning around your body? Yes. And you would be then going back in a direction towards Mr. Mew, correct? I don't believe that I did, no. Okay. Well, let's, you're turning, let me go back again. Here. I'm turning so just, around, yes. I don't know where I'm going, though. So we agree that you turn around, correct? Well, yes. We don't know how far you turn around, correct? Correct. We know at some point that you and Mr. Mew are really close, correct? Yes, I believe he walked up to me, though. Okay. And when you say belief, you don't have a memory of it, correct? Correct, but I've seen the video a lot, and I'm not facing the way he's facing. I'm facing the opposite way. Okay, and let, we're going to go through that, but just as we go through this right now, this isn't a memory you have, right. correct? correct? This is, again, something that you've used your deduction to try to figure out what happened, correct? correct. And the story that you've, I don't want to say told yourself, but is that fair? Yeah. The story you've told yourself is he came up to me, correct? But um, not came up to me, but we were standing in front of him, and I thought after the punch with Maddie, I thought he stabbed me right after that. Okay, and so 
but when you were saying like I didn't walk up to him, that's something that's not a memory. That's just you're doing some deduction to right. get there, correct? correct? The story that you've told yourself. Correct. And in that, what you've told other people was he was close enough to literally where he just put his hand up and kind of poked me on the side, right? Correct. You said that to the news station, agreed? Correct. Um, you'd also said to the police, this isn't in relation to anything. You just volunteered this information. I don't know if I reacted like hitting at him or yelling at him. That's correct. correct. And then you said he poked me, correct? Correct. And then you'd said, I think as well to the police, I was close enough that he could pretty much go like that. Agreed? Correct. And when you did that, you're on the video, you've got your right hand and you move your right hand, I think like maybe three inches forward, yeah. is that fair? Yeah. Is that a fair demonstration of what you did when you said he went like that? Yes. Am I doing that correctly? Yes. So when Mr. Anderson demonstrated something before and he swung his arm around, that's not accurate? I wouldn't say that's not accurate. I just that's felt like it was literally a poke in my yeah. side. Sure. And the poke in your side is on your left side, correct? Correct. And it's, if you, could you just for a moment, can you stand for a yes. moment? Yes. And again, obviously keep your, your jacket on, right? Can you just touch on your, with your right hand where it is? Right here. Okay. Fair to say that as you stand there right, how you are right now, your left arm is protecting that area. Yes. And if you raise your left arm, push it up, raise it, show, is that area now exposed? Yes. Is it now vulnerable to being cut? Yes. Is it vulnerable to being cut where you're at right now? No. No. And so from deduction, would you agree that maybe your hand was out, stretched towards him in that moment? I do not agree to that. Sustained. Okay. You don't have a memory of it. I do not. All you know is you couldn't have done it when your hand's down at your side, correct? Objection, speculation. She's already said that, but. Okay. Let's so move, move forward here. I want to ask if you uh, remember Maddie behind you. Is this in the green suit? Is that Gabby? Correct. Do you see a, a leg with a navy blue swimsuit bottom? I do. I do. Was uh, Maddie wearing a navy blue swimsuit bottom? Yes. I think that's Maddie? I do. Uh, and in that photo, does it look like you're tending to her? Not at that moment. And in fact, this is the stretch where we see you turn around, correct? Correct. You're actually turning away from her, correct? Correct. It looks like right. she's walking the opposite yeah. way. So whatever was going on with Maddie, you weren't worried about it. You were going in a different direction. At that point, yes. And 2969, that's you after he'd made that little jabbing motion towards you, correct? Correct. This is you with the injury that we just talked about. Correct. correct. Can you see your friend Janelle there in the background? Yeah. She's clearly reacting to you, correct? Correct. And then she goes and she gives you uh, attention, for lack of a better term, correct? Correct. Um, it's at that point that Janelle was, prior to that, you can take it down, Prior to that, Janelle was turned facing towards Mr. Mew and kind of everybody. She was kind of in the background. Is that right? Yes. Um, you didn't see Janelle go tend to Maddie Cohen, correct? I don't remember. Sure. What we know is when you were injured, she went and tended to you, correct? Correct. But prior to that, she's not tending to any other women. Agreed? Correct. At some point after this, you walk over to your group, what I'm called group two, correct? Correct. And as you're standing over there, um, some people are tending to you, correct? I don't know if I walked over to the group. I walked kind of a little away from him, I believe. The person in the yellow shirt, that's Q, is that right? Correct. The person in the green bikini, that's Gabby K. Correct. Agreed? And the person over here in the navy blue suit, that's Madison Cohen, correct? Correct. She appears to be on her phone, correct? Correct. Holding a beer in her left hand, correct? Correct. So while you're, you're, you're injured, correct? Correct. Um, and looks like Quentin's coming over to, again, care and attention to you, correct? 
I believe so. I remember, yeah, I remember talking to him. Then. Okay. And do you see here, do you remember Maddie standing there with the phone in her right hand, the beer in her left hand, and her glasses on her forehead? No, I don't. I just remember Janelle screaming to call for 911 and then and then ask, asking, just like I said, kind of walking around and asking for help. Okay. So you don't know if in that moment in time, Madison Cohen had both of her hands full with the items that she'd had previously? I had no idea. You don't know what the condition of her sunglasses were that were on her head? No. Objection, Judge. She doesn't remember. Can we approach? Yes. So whenever the attorneys approach the judge, they mute the audio and point the camera in a different direction. But unfortunately, this time, when the audio comes back, attorney Nelson's questions are over, and it's suddenly Louis Anderson's turn again. Do you see sunglasses on Madison's head there? I do not. I can't tell you how annoying Schmiestad is when he puts his big fat hand on the microphone and squeezes it. I've probably cut out 10 minutes worth of footage of his hand squeezing microphones. I wasn't quite sure which one was doing it. It's Schmiestad. Get your fat hand off the mic, loser. When I was first questioning, I asked you what you remember specifically, your personal memory, and you talked about him hitting Nikolai, hitting Madison, and Nikolai stabbing you. Is that right? Correct. And then on cross, defense asked a lot of questions about the video and what you asked you to interpret things in from the still frames. Objection mischaracterizes what I would again, do. again, please. I'll just say this for the jury's benefit. You are the judges of the facts. What the lawyers say is not evidence. So you can just disregard whatever they say. Focus on what the witness says. Next question. The apart from what you remember that you've testified about is the the video is the best evidence. Would you agree with that? We don't need her to say what the best evidence. Again, please, no speaking objections. It's a leading Sorry. question, sustained. When you spoke to police originally, did you tell them that you saw Nikolai hit Madison? I believe so. Do you believe you told that to the law enforcement in the second interview as well as the two media statements? I'm not exactly sure, but I believe so. Defense asked you about how you described first to law enforcement about that hit. Do you recall that questioning? About it, do you recall the questioning about you saying it was a slap and that was the, how you first described it? I really don't remember being questioned in the hospital. I was just coming out of surgery and would seeing a transcript help refresh your memory on how you first described that to law enforcement? Oh, yes. I'm showing you transcript. Um, it says location Regions Hospital, August 1st, 2022. I'm going to have you read from the beginning until you get to the point where you first describe that to law enforcement. Okay? Okay. Bottom of page two. I'm going to read it aloud. No, just read it to yourself. Well, she's doing that. Can we approach her? Yes. Does that refresh your recollection of how you first described it to law enforcement? A little bit. And what was it? How did you describe it? The, the word. The um, hit of Maddie being hit. Yeah, did you say punch, slap? I said he went to go punch her in the face. Defense asks, you have no dis reason to disagree with this, and you agreed. Do you recall that? What did you say? Defense asks, do you have any reason to disagree with Exhibit 104, and you said... Do you have no reason to disagree with it? Agree with that? Yes. Do you have personal memory of who was where and at that point in the video? No. So this is the image of your surgery scar, and then you can see the stab scar on the side. Correct. And <coughs> are you holding your phone up when you with your arms here? Correct. And your stab wound is visible in this photo? Correct. So defense asked you, if your hands are like this, that area is protected. If your hand is like this, it's not. Correct. Well, your hand could be a lot of places and it could be Correct. exposed. And you don't, you, do you remember where your hand was? I do not. Do you remember hitting or pushing Nikolai before he stabbed you? I do not. What do you remember doing before he stabbed you? Nothing. Just standing there? 
Just standing there and being stabbed. Well, we know that can't be true. Because the camera pans over quickly and then quickly pans back. And at one moment, she's facing one direction. And when the camera pans back, she's facing the opposite direction. And she had to have gotten pretty close to him in order for him to stab her. Defense asked you about the Navy swimsuit where you can just see the very edge on the top left. Do you recall that? Correct. And defense asked, so we can deduce that you didn't go to Maddie. Do you recall that? I do, but this was a while after. I'm going to go backwards in the frames. And here, do you see yourself? I do. And do you see another leg, somebody standing right in front of you? I do. So we could also deduce you did go to her? Correct. Nothing else, Judge. Mr. Nelson? Do you know who's standing in front of you? I don't. You see a white leg? I do. There were 13 people, uh, 14 if you include Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. We know it's not Mr. Mew, correct? Correct. We know it's not Janelle, correct? Correct. We know it's not you, correct? Correct. We know it's not Dante, correct? Correct. There's lots of other legs that it could be, correct? That is correct. You don't know whether that's Madison or not? I don't. Uh, the only reason you were able to identify Madison and the other one is she's the only one wearing that navy suit, correct? Correct. All right. Um, what I want to ask you is about some things that you'd said previously, okay, just to make sure we're on the same page okay. about, uh, firstly, about what happened with Madison, okay? Okay. You told Fox 9 Noon in an interview from the hospital bed, you said these words that okay. are on a recording. Quote, at first I thought he had slapped her because I was like, like I said, I was just kind of not comprehensive. You said those words? I guess so. Um, now I want to ask you about the, your interaction with Mr. Mew, okay? okay? Um, what you said to Fox 9 News during that same interview is, I don't know if I had hit him to have him upset. You said that, correct? I believe so. To Care 11 News, you said, I'm not sure if I hit him because I was so upset. Okay. Agreed? I guess so. And then to the police, you said, I don't know if I reacted like hitting him or yelling at him or something, correct? Correct. You mentioned to CARE 11 News, Fox 9 News, and to the police, at least your opinion at that time is you might have hit him, correct? You actually asked an answer, that's all for you, right? Sustained. That's all. Thank you, Ms. Madison. Thank you. You may step down. So imagine yourself as a 17-year-old young man and you've decided to go float down a river and tie one on. And when I say tie one on, I mean these boys were trashed. Their BAC levels were through the roof. And I have a feeling that they planned on driving home that day. So they aren't even of drinking age. And how much experience could they possibly have drinking? Unless they've been drinking since the age of eight. But I'm going to go ahead and say that these kids had very little, if not zero experience with drinking in the past more than likely this is all new to them and men in general get quite aggressive when they're drinking and when we're talking about young men who have zero experience with drinking the aggression can get out of hand very quickly and then if you throw two drunk chicks into the mix it's only gonna ramp up the aggression and i'm not trying to say that these two girls are the are the cause of this entire altercation because they're not but just by getting involved, they made this situation a lot worse. Just go back and watch the video for yourself. The volume level of the screaming, the excitement from the little kids, it got a lot louder and more out of control as soon as those two girls showed up. And I hope for their sake that the next time they're in public and they happen to see a fight or an aggressive situation getting started, these two ladies, especially this one, will probably think twice before she goes and gets involved in some crazy situation like this ever again. But she didn't need to learn that lesson this way. She could have learned a few important life lessons from her parents, but either they didn't teach her or she just didn't listen. So now she has a scar going all the way up her stomach. And I feel bad for her, that sucks. But I highly don't recommend her to ever get involved in something like this again. Because how many more situations like this can she survive? Just let old butterscotch schnapps take care of it for you.
I suppose that's all I've got on that. But there is one more thing I want to talk about before I end this video. I've been having conversations with a few of you in the comment sections of these videos, and it was just brought to my attention while I was editing this one that apparently YouTube is deactivating the comment sections on many, many channels and videos across the platform. And I got to say, I'm actually considering disabling my own comments, which is something I said I would never do, but it's becoming a liability. I probably will not disable the comments on this video, but I highly recommend coming to find me on Rumble, Odyssey, Twitter, X, or whatever the hell you want to call it, or even Reddit. It's hard to believe that Reddit is a safer place to be than YouTube, but it is right now. It's election season, and you can get banned on YouTube right now for just farting. And I have actually seen people get banned from YouTube just for commenting on videos. It's much easier to talk to me on Twitter. But my handle on Twitter is actually at Mushmouth Gamer, not Mushmouth Joe. The Mushmouth Joe account has already been banned by Elon's team. But that was when Elon had first taken over, well over a year ago. Now I think things are basically safe there. But like I said, you can find me on any one of those websites, even Reddit. The last thing I want to mention is yet another website. It's similar to Odyssey and Rumble. All my videos are on Odyssey and Rumble, but they're also on Quarter.tv. I would highly recommend you checking out Quarter.tv. Just don't bother with YouTube. But now that I've gotten all that bitching off my chest, I'm going to move on to the next video and find out who the next witness is. I'll be back soon. But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. Thank you. This bitch ain't right.